Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to answer a question that I've been asked a couple times already. And that is, what are my thoughts on flat earthers? What are my thoughts on NASA and whether or not we've ever gone to the moon? Okay, so as crazy as these questions may seem to some of you, I give anyone's question serious thought and consideration before coming to any conclusions. So I happened to have researched and looked into this myself many years ago, just out of my own curiosity. So the conclusion that I am going to present to you is not one that I just spur of the moment came up with and clicked record and decided to blurt out to you. I've looked into this, okay? And the first thing I'll say is that it's my belief that NASA is the biggest scam in the history of America as a nation. It is the biggest scam and theft of money from the public to the government and whatever other entities in history. They have stole trillions of dollars from the public. And what have they given us in return for all that money? Ask yourselves, seriously, in your own lifetime, what the fuck has NASA ever done to benefit you personally? And the answer is zero. They've done zero because it's a fucking front. It's a facade for whatever they really want to use that money for. That's, that's the fucking face that they put on the front of it, NASA. Yeah, everyone gung-ho, let's fucking support our, the space race. And it's bullshit, guys. It's bullshit, all right? So let's just get that flat out of the way. Now, when it comes to moon travel, I personally, since I was a child, have never, ever believed that man has gone to the moon. I don't believe it. To this day, I don't believe that any man has ever been on the moon, okay? And the reasons why I feel that way are very simple and straightforward. First and foremost, I remember as a child when they showed that image on TV, not live, but it was a replay of the moon landing. The first question I had was, who the fuck is on the moon already filming this landing take place? How is this possible? And then when you see the actual images, the video, it's just nothing. It's garbage. There's nothing there to prove that this is taking place on the moon. You have a bunch of assholes bouncing around like fools, not doing shit. There's nothing in the background to prove that they're on the moon. There's nothing to prove that it's not done in a studio, in a film studio, in a Hollywood set. There's nothing. There's no proof. The rocks that they brought back, supposedly the moon rocks that they gave as gifts to other nations and leaders around the world, all turned out to be fake. They were all from Earth. They were fake. There's no such thing as a proven moon rock that was brought back. So... What I'm saying is, guys, is that the way my mind works is not typical to most. Most people are fucking sheep. You just believe whatever the fuck you're told automatically. Whatever the majority thinks, that's the truth for you. For me, I break down and analyze and process every piece of information that I'm given and decide for myself, is this the truth or is this bullshit that they want me to believe? And when it comes to the moon landing... The first question I would ask you is, how the fuck is it that in every other aspect of, of life, technology has advanced so far in the last 60 years, unbelievably far? Just take any appliance as an example, a television set. Look at the TVs of 60 years ago and look at them now. There were no cell phones. Since cell phones became popular 30 years ago, 25 years ago, whatever it was, look at the advance in the technology and how it's improved. Same for cars. Look at cars of 60 years ago versus those of today. So in every single aspect of life, technology has advanced in leaps and bounds over the last 50, 60 years with one exception, space travel. Space travel, NASA, that same fucking big scam organization who gets so much fucking money, who has gone through trillions of dollars, is the only exception to what I just said in advancement in technology. They have not progressed at all. They're still at the exact same capability of 
rate of speed of travel for their space shuttle that they claim took them to the moon. They haven't gotten any better. That's like me telling you, listen, I own this company and we build cars. 60 years ago, we were building this car. 60 years, fast forward in the future, I went through trillions of dollars and the cars are the same. I haven't improved. Everyone else in life has, but I haven't. What the fuck would you say about me as a business owner and my company in general? What would you say? This is a competent company? This is something we should continue funding? Or this guy's a fucking piece of shit scam artist and he took all our money and did something else with it. He did not fucking implement it the way he said he was and he did not put it to use as promised. Because if he did, he would have progressed as well. I don't believe it at all. At all. The stupidity that comes from NASA themselves about the moon landing, about the technology specifically utilized to get to the moon, they say that they lost all the records of it. They, they had it on a, a, on a tape and they taped over it. This is what NASA actually says. All right? I've never seen any real footage from the shuttle while they're in the shuttle traveling through space. I've never seen any of that. I've never seen any footage at all other than that bullshit, grainy garbage that to me is clearly done in a studio. It's not the fucking moon. There are no stars in the background. There's nothing. There's no way they can prove they've been on the moon. In addition to that, the images that they give us and tell us are images of the Earth from space. I don't believe. I think they're bullshit. I don't believe it. I do not fucking believe that. To me, they look like they're computer-generated images. All of them are CGI. NASA themselves admit that they're all CGI. It's bullshit. I don't believe it. So I don't think we've been there. I don't think any other nation's been there. If we had, if we had been there in the 1960s, then of course we would have returned back and done something. Of course. But we're not because it's bullshit and it never happened. Okay? On the last point, on the flat earther point, I have also looked into this. Okay? On this, my conclusion is not as definite as with the other two topics prior. Um, but what I will say is I don't believe that we're on a globe earth as they suggest to us. I don't believe that. I don't believe that the Earth is rotating at the speed of which they tell me it is. Supposedly, we're rotating on an axis at 66,000 miles per hour. We're traveling uh, through space at hundreds of thousands of miles an hour. And the galaxy itself is rotating at millions of miles an hour. I don't believe none of that stuff. And again, going back to what I said earlier, guys, my brain processes things different than most. All I'm asking for is forget about commonly accepted knowledge. Let's just start from square one. Convince me right now in layman's terms and prove to me that this earth that we're on, that we live on, is moving and rotating at those speeds. Prove that to me first. Because in my research, there is zero proof. There is no repeatable experiment out there that can show that the earth is moving. I don't believe it. I don't believe it's moving at all. I see giant bodies of water. I see them sometimes lakes that are like glass, not moving at all. How the fuck are we rotating in all these different ways and there's no movement? I don't believe it. I don't believe in the whole globe thing. Again, as I mentioned, guys, it doesn't make any sense to me at all. And outside of computer generated images, and what was forced down our throats since we were little kids. How do you prove it? Prove to me that we're on this fucking globe Earth and that we're spinning around a galaxy at hundreds of thousands of miles an hour. Prove it to me. And when you look at it from that perspective, it's not something that you can prove. You can't prove to me that we're moving on the Earth. You can't prove it. So this is a little off from the flat earth topic. Uh, and again, as I mentioned, I'm not definitive on that. But I believe it's more likely that we are on an earth that is round, like a pizza pie, basically, flat, right? There are differences in elevation, of course. And I don't know what's under it. Maybe it's like a half circle or something. I don't know. But it's way more 
likely, in my opinion only, that we're on something like that versus we're on this globe and there are people here and there are people here and these people are upside down. And when we fly in airplanes, they never take into account the speed at which the globe is spinning, right? When you travel from east to west, if the globe is spinning in, in, in at thousands and thousands of miles an hour, of course, when you leave the earth and travel by plane, you would obviously get to one direction much faster than the other direction, but that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen at all, right? If you're actually on that globe Earth, you're on an airplane, you just keep going straight, you're going to fly fucking straight into space. That doesn't happen. You're telling me that the pilots are accounting for the globe Earth and the curvature and they're pointing their, the nose of their planes down accordingly? They're not. I don't believe in that, guys. So this is one of those videos where many of you might think, man, this guy is fucking crazy. This guy's on drugs. This guy is finally fucking losing it. But what I say to you is, show me actual proof outside of bullshit theories, which is what everything else is when it comes to this. There are theories that people have presented. As an example, gravity is a theory. It's not provable. It's not something that is a fact that exists. This is something that someone come up with that they think likely the case. But it's not 100% certain and everyone accepts it. So again, guys, give these things some thought for yourselves. Please think. Think logically and ask yourselves if what they're telling you is true. That we went all the way to the moon <laughs> and all the way back. And here we are still. Technology has not improved at all in 60 years. They still travel at the same rate of speed, 28,000 and a half miles an hour on the space shuttle, something like that. It's all a fucking lie, okay? There have also been claims, and I have read and looked into as well, the claims that the whole entire moon landing was filmed in a studio in Europe, one of Stanley Kubrick's studios that he actually used to make a movie about space maybe a couple years before. And NASA and the United States government gave him special access to certain things while he was filming that movie for authenticity. And in return, they came back and asked for that favor, that they'll be allowed to use his studio and that he'll never say anything about it. Every, every single interview I've seen with astronauts who claim to have been on the moon, these guys don't look at all or sound at all like they're telling the truth. They sound like they're full of shit. Every video I've ever seen of the space station where people are astronauts are supposedly there and there's no gravity and their hair is sticking up and they're floating around doing flips. To me, all of that looks fake. It looks fucking fake. It's either done in a zero gravity plane when the plane dips at a high speed and there's a duration of time, normally a minute or so, where they can film zero gravity or it's being done underwater. But there's no proof of it. If they're really up there, think about this, and I'll end with this. If they're really in space right now, there's a space station and there are satellites and we went to the moon, why the fuck is there nobody who just takes a cell phone, a little iPhone, from the space station and films outer space? Show us what it actually looks like out there. Show us space from space. Show us the Earth. Show me a video of the Earth that's not computer generated from space. And I'll believe it. But to me, I have not seen any such thing that I believe is authentic at all. So I'm very interested in your guys' comments on this. I can guess that at least half of you are going to think I'm fucking nuts. But trust me, guys. Ask yourselves this after that thought. If I'm really a fucking foolish man, I don't believe that I am. Ask yourselves if I'm stupid. Ask yourselves if I'm fucking crazy. Maybe crazy in other regards but not crazy when it comes to things like this. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.